NVIDIA was the story of the regular session today after the earnings report was the story of overtime yesterday. After the analyst call, I spent some time on the phone with CEO Jensen Huang talking about whether growth can continue from here. I asked how AI apps like OpenAI's Sora, which generates video from text prompts, will drive demand. The ability to go from words and scenarios to describe uh, video that is generated, these models all require enormous, enormous infrastructure to train because you're training not from words, but you're training by watching video literally. Uh, you're going to see a lot more modalities of these. You're going to see um, text with images, with sound, with uh, video all being trained at the same time. And so today, mo notice most of, the, most of the videos are silent, uh, but in the future, uh, the words and the video will be registered perfectly, and, and uh, not only will you generate uh, video, you'll generate the associated and, and appropriate sounds that go along with it, uh, and vice versa. I also asked him about this idea out there that the AI marketplace is about to shift from training AI models to using them, what's referred to in the industry as inferencing. Some competitors have suggested that when that happens, NVIDIA will lose some share. Jensen said, not necessarily. The goal of inference is application reach. It's no different than the goal of writing an application for a mobile device is application reach. You, you, you prefer a phone with the largest install base. It is fundamentally the reason why Apple is so successful. In our case, inference, anybody who's developing an application to run inference is going to prefer NVIDIA first. And the reason for that is because the CUDA install base is so large. It is the only acceleration platform that has a giant install base. It is in every single cloud. It is growing incredibly fast and it's available on-prem or in the cloud. It's available all the way out to the edge for robotic systems. And so this architecture being so pervasive and because we have the discipline of protecting it and maintaining it for 30 years, this architecture is now literally everywhere. And if you are somebody who is developing an application for inference, targeting NVIDIA gives you the largest possible reach. And finally, software. I mentioned this on Overtime yesterday, that while it's natural to think of NVIDIA as a chip company, the moat that protects its ecosystem is software. I asked Jensen about NVIDIA AI Enterprise, which is a services business at about a billion dollar annual run rate, where NVIDIA is helping customers keep their AI software optimized for NVIDIA's platforms. Similar to Apple's app store driven services business that grows with the iPhone and iPad install base, he says he sees big potential. For most of the enterprises and enterprise software companies, they simply don't have the large and deep expertise in accelerated computing at this point. And so we'll do it for everybody. We'll optimize it for everybody. We'll create these stacks for everybody and with everybody. And we'll make it run in every single cloud for everybody. And the way that we monetize it is through this engine, this NVIDIA AI enterprise engine, which is essentially an operating system for NVIDIA's AIs and NVIDIA's enterprise and, and acceleration algorithms. And you pay for it per GPU per year, just like an operating system, and you can run everything that NVIDIA creates and enables. And so as we grow into enterprise, as we grow into enterprise software, as we grow out to the edge, this is going to be a very, very significant opportunity for us.